Bonsoir tout le monde. Il est 7 heures. Good evening, everyone. It's 7 o'clock, so I will call the meeting to order. Just for those that are listening at home, just to let you know, tonight we will, ha we will start with the swearing-in with the swearing in ceremony to uh, swear in the new council. From there, uh, we will take a break for a few minutes. And after the break, we will go back to the regular council meeting. So to begin, I would like to uh, present the members of the new council and to uh, congratulate you on um, the election. Uh, starting on the right from District 1, Nil Doucet. Councillor for District 3, Mr. Philippe Godet. Councillor for District 4, Mr. Carl DeVoe. Councillor for District 7, Mr. Ronnie Leblanc. Councillor for District 5, Mr. Brian Camo. Councillor for District 6, Eric Fatier. And finally, uh, Councillor for District 8, Councillor Yvonne Leblanc. So from there, I would like to go to the signature of the oath of council. So I will ask all of you to come up individually to, uh, to sign the oath. So I will ask uh, Councillor for District Number One, Mr. Neil Dusat, to please step forward. I, Nildusa, uh, solemnly affirm to be uh, faithful and to Récompense pour m'inciter à la fatalité ou autre exécution induite dans l'exercice de mes fonctions. to invite, uh, ask Councillor Hill to, to please come up. I, Danny Hill, solemnly, swear, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law and that I am duly qualified and required by law for the office of the Councillor <clears throat> of the Municipality of the District of Clare, and that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially execute the duties of the office to which I have been elected to the best of my knowledge and ability, and that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward for promise <clears throat> thereof for the exercise of any partially or other undue execution of the duties of my office.
I will now invite uh, Mr. Philippe Gallet to come forward. I, Philip Godard, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, to her ears and successors according to law, and that I am duly qualified as required by law for the office of Councillor of the Municipality of the District of Clare, and that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially execute the duties of the office to which I have been elected to the best of my knowledge and ability, and that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or other undue execution of the duties of my office. There you go, congratulations. Thank you, Madre Mena. Now I'll ask Mr. Caldevo to step forward. I, Carl DeVoe, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, to her heirs and successors according to law, that I, and that I am duly qualified as required by law for the office of Councillor of the Municipality of the District of Clare, and that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially Execute, execute the duties of the office to which I have been elected for the rest, for the, to the best of my knowledge and ability, and that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or other undue execution of the duties of my office. I will now invite Mr. Brancomo for district number five. I, Briancomo, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, to her heirs and successors according to law, and that I am duly qualified as required by law for the office of Councillor of the Municipality of the District of Clare, and that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially execute the duties of the office to which I have been elected to the best of my knowledge and ability, and that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or other undue execution of my duties of my office.
I now invite uh, Mr. Eric Cartier to please come forward. I, Eric Poitier, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law. And I am duly qualified as required by law for the office of Councillor of the Municipality of the District of Clare. And that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially execute the duties of the office to which I have been elected to the best of my knowledge and ability and that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or other undue execution of the duties of my office. I will now invite Mr. Rami Leblanc to um, step forward. I, Rami Leblanc, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law and I am duly qualified as required by law for the office of, of Councillor of the Municipality of the District of Clare, and that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially execute the duties of the office to which I have been elected to the best of my knowledge and ability, and that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or other undue execution of the duties of my office. And I invite Mr. Yvonne Leblanc to come forward. I, Yvonne Leblanc solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law. And that I am duly qualified as required by law for the office of Councillor of the Municipality of the District of Clare. And that I will truly faithfully and impartially execute the duties of the office to which I have been elected to the best of my knowledge and ability. And that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or other undue execution of the duties of my office.
Merci. Thank you, uh, sirs, and uh, congratulations once again. We will now go to the next uh, item on the agenda, which is the signature of the uh, Oath of Warden. So are there nominations for the warden? Deputy? I would like to nominate Mr. Uh, Ronnie Leblanc as warden. Do you accept the nomination? Yes. Are there other nominations? Are there other nominations? Are there other nominations? Since there are no other nominations, I invite Mr. Ronnie Leblanc to step forward. I, Ronnie Leblanc, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, and that I'm duly qualified as required by law for the office of warden of the municipality of District of Clare, and that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially execute the duties to of the office to which I have been elected to the best of my knowledge and that I have received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or other undue execution of the duties of my office. We will now go to the next item on the agenda, which is the signature of the oath for the deputy warden. Are there any nominations for deputy warden? I nominate Councillor Neil Doucet, deputy warden. Conseil Doucet, est-ce que tu acceptes? Councillor Doucet, do you accept the nomination? Yes. Are there other nominations? I would like to nominate uh, Councillor Yvon Leblanc as Deputy Warden. Mr. Leblanc, do you accept? Yes, I accept the nomination. Are there other nominations? Are there other nominations? Are there other nominations? So since there are two candidates for the deputy warden, uh, we will vote. So I will ask you to please fill out the um, bulletin that's in front of you. And I will ask Ashley to uh, go around the tables to um, pick them up once they are done. And then Ashley and I will leave the room to, 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 count, to count the votes.
Following the count of the votes, I have the pleasure to announce that Mr. Yvon Leblanc was elected as Deputy Warden of Municipality of Clare. I, Yvonne Leblanc, solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors according to law, and that I'm duly qualified as required by law for the office of Deputy Warden of the Municipality of the District of Clare, and that I will truly faithfully and impartially execute the duties of the office to which I have been elected to the best of my knowledge and ability. And that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward of or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or other undue execution of the duties of my office. I invite now uh, the warden, uh, Ronnie Leblanc, to preside the rest of the meeting. Last item on the agenda is the nomination of committees. After the election, Stephen had sent a list of all the committees to ask for your preferences, which committees you want to be on, what, what are your priorities, and to save time, we went through the whole list, and I'm happy to say that everybody received their one, two, first, second, and third priorities that they wanted, and then we went through the lists with the criteria for capacity and strengths and to try to divide the committees equally so that everybody has the same workload. And we filled it in as we thought. This is a recommendation that we put together with all the lists that we had. So I will go through the committees uh, who if there is a committee you're not comfortable with and uh, one that you absolutely want to be on, you can ask and we will go to vote. So then we will form the committees and at the end we will pass a resolution to see. So the Planning Advisory Committee, there are four co councillors, Leblanc, Godard, myself and Councillor Dusa. You stop me if there is a committee that you're not comfortable on being with, or if you want to join it. The bylaw committee, three councillors, Como, Leblanc, and Hill. Public Works, Councillor Pache, Councillor Doucet, and Deputy Warden Leblanc. The audit committee, four councillors, Councillor Godet, Councillor Hill, 
Councillor Kuno and myself. The personnel committee is the warden plus two, so myself, Councillor Godin, and Councillor Kumo. Doctor Recruitment Committee, there is myself, Councillor Doucet, and Councillor DeVoe. The Villa Acadienne, four councillors. The, the Deputy Warden Lebla, Councillor Kumo, Poitier, and Goda. On EMO, there are three members. There is the Warden, myself, Councillor Leblanc, and Councillor Poitier. On the Clarifier Fighters Association, we have three members, Councillor Hill, Councillor Doucet, and Councillor Poitier. The Police Advisory Board, two councillors, Councillor Poitier and Councillor DeVoe. We will go on to 11, the Western Counter Counties Regional Library, one councillor, we have Councillor DeVoe. For the REN, Western Regional, the Warden plus an alternate, there is myself and the Deputy Warden LeBlanc. Under 13, we have Waste Check, two councillors, councillors Devo and myself. And a new committee on accessibility. We have three councillors, the Deputy Warden LeBlanc, councillors Poche and Como. And the Yarmouth Hospital Foundation, we have councillor Godet. Highway 101 Task Force, we have councillor Hill and Doucet. Southwest Nova Bio Service Re Reserve, we have Councillor DeVoe. The Economic uh, Development Council, the warden sits on that. that, that is myself. University St. Anne on the Council of Governors, it is the warden also, myself. And the Weymouth Doctor Recruitment Committee, we have two councillors, Councillors Hill and myself. Community and Nova Scotia Health Authorities Stakeholders Group. That is the position of the warden, so I will sit on that. Carleton River Watershed Area, monitoring the water quality, that would be Councillor DeVoe, and the edifice, uh, the church and church point by motion. It is the warden who sits on that. So that is the list of the committees it is a recommendation. You have the right to change it as you wish. And if anybody wants, uh, are interested in being somewhere else where they are not, we will go on to a, to a motion. If everybody is comfortable with that, we need a motion to adopt all the council members on the committees. Moved by Councillor Hill, seconded by Deputy Warden LeBlanc. Any discussion on the motion? If not, ready for the vote. All those in favor indicate by saying yes. Contrary, no, motion is carried. So that is the last item on that agenda before we go on to the regular council meeting. Uh, excuse me, it's a procedural question I just noted. And after the nomination of the warden and the deputy warden, we need a motion of council to adopt these nominations. So we should pass two motions to accept your nomination as warden and Councillor LeBlanc as deputy warden. Thank you for the reminder. So we need a motion to, num to name the, so Eric makes the motion con uh, seconded by LeBlanc. Any question on the motion? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. Contrary, no. Motion is carried. Next, we need a motion to name the deputy warden, moved by Councillor Hill, seconded by Councillor Doucet. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. Contrary, no. Motion is carried. Thank you for the, for that. So, under seven, we will will adjourn. Uh, we will ask for the adjournment, and then we will take a five-minute break and go on with the regular council meeting. Moved by Councillor Doucet that we 
adjourned.